Okay, so this one, this one won't spin out. So we're going to take this apart, take a look at this, see if the wax motor's shot, and or see if we can hot wire it. The pump is clean on this one, so we know it's not the pump. I looked at the control board. The control board doesn't look like it's burnt. So I'm going to try and fix this and see what happens. So there's a set of points in here. The set of points. Theoretically, this should be a 110 wax motor right here. Could put 110 across these two leaves. And it should activate those points. The points don't seem to be corroded or anything. So if this a wax motor does not push those points together, then this wax motor needs to be replaced. Okay, so it's closed the points. Um, so this this switch should be good. Okay, so I've already looked at this board down here. That speed control board right there. It doesn't look burnt at all. No loose connections or anything. So I'm going to take a look at this board here. Is there going to see anything wrong with it? So this board here doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it on this side. I like to look at the other side, but it's it's really in there. It's uh it's not wanting to come out too easy. Um, there's little clips here and here on the back side of that board. I'm gonna cut those out and see if I can pull this out. I look at the back side. Everything else. Actually, there is one resistor that that resistor right there. It looks a little no, that's a diode. It looks like the it's a little bit discolored on one end. This one right here. That one right there. Anyway, let's see if we can look at the back of this thing. All the connections here, they all look good. Yeah. Looks like this one got wet, guys. I might be able to clean it up with some WD and see what happens. Now, alcohol would be better. All that white crap. That white crap can create a short. And, uh, those are like the high voltage components right there. No, that's 12 volt. 12 volt relays. But, uh, there's a glimmer of hope here. We just clean this up real good with some alcohol. See if it'll work. Okay, so I don't see anything. Looks like some of these weird dots and stuff here. It's like... I'm not sure how that works. But uh, some of them don't come through on the other side. None of these components look bad. So I guess I'm just going to have to plug it back in and see what happens. Okay. Got the matching dryer too. For sale. It's all for sale. All the connections are back in tight. And <clears throat> double check. And let's see what it does. Okay. Spin only. It does like a half turn on the barrel. 
and then it does nothing. Okay, well, let's take a look at the motor real quick, see what happens. Definitely not doing anything at this point in time. Okay, so, I've already took this apart, looked at it, <laughs> it looks fine. All the connections are tight. But on this motor, you can see there's corrosion on these terminals right here. And then you look in here. See that green stuff on the two right ones? That might cause a problem. I'm going to clean those up and then try it again. Okay, so it says ready. Spin only. Start. No, doesn't do anything. It says spinning. It's not doing anything. I don't know, guys. Why do you guys make this so hard to fix? It's not showing any codes. Vibration control. There is a pump back on. Ooh. Oh, it made a funny noise now. Spinning. Not spinning. Come on. <laughs> 